Okay, three minutes past eight. Time for this. Live music on BBC Radio 1. Delighted to welcome to the legendary BBC Medivelle Studios while she sleeps. Hello! Yo, yo, yo! Yay, yay, you're all there. Um, Okay, let's start with Loz. Are you there? I am. How's it going, man? It's going really, really well. Thanks, Annie. Um, nice to speak to you on the phone. When was that? A couple of weeks ago? Maybe three weeks ago now? It was, it was a little while back. How are you? I'm, I'm great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm really good. We're really good. We're really excited to have you on the show. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for letting us be a part of your show. Can you bring us through everyone who's there um, tonight and get everyone to play a little bit of their instrument, please? Yes. To my left, we have Adam Savage. Yes, Adam, In front of me, drums. we have Matt Welsh. <laughs> we have Aaron McKenzie on bass guitar. Well, you guys are ready to go. And Sean, the riff master. <laughs> Do I sense a hint of impatience here? You guys just want to get no, on we with just, it? We're just we're bricking him on. on. <laughs> <laughs> we had this rapper on last week, right? His name was JK, and he was so, like, gassed up for for his gig that he finished a tune, right? And I, I, I thought it was so good that I was kind of a bit lost for words. And I was like, it's, it was really, it was great. And he was like, can I just get on with it and do the next one? And I was like, yeah, you actually can. I'll shut up. But he was so, he was so into it, he just could, he didn't want to talk. He just wanted to play. So if you feel like that, it's fine. We can just get on with it. Yeah, we're definitely eager to uh, get the first one underway, I think. Okay, well, let's just do it. Let's get the first one underway and then we can relax and have a chat. So what are we starting with? What are we starting with? Guilty party. The yeah. guilty party. Guilty party. So this is While She Sleeps on Radio 1. Take it away. Yeah. Sun, the 
Yes! Yes! Woo! While she sleeps live on BBC Radio 1 with the guilty party. That is the best shout out I have ever got. Hands down. <laughs> Loz, if you could have seen me in the studio when you just <laughs> named up, I literally went, I can't say the word because it's an expletive, but I went crazy. Thank you. <laughs> um, shout out to everyone locked in and absolutely loving this. Gabe the Vegan. Oh, he's a regular listener, but we haven't heard from him in a while. He says, this is sounding immense. I love this. Lucy says, while she sleeps, sounding sick as bleep. Live on BBC Radio 1. Luscious Davison listening now and loving it. Aunt Lacey listening to While She Sleeps right hey, now, full yeah. of pride. Hey, Go on, lads. Do you know Aunt Lacey? Yeah, he's our okay. merch guy. Is he? Oh, he's really proud of you right now. Um, Polaris says, yes. Heck yes. Listening to this right now, it's so good. Um, Scott says, so much hype for While She Sleeps. One of the best bands to fly the British metal flag. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Kai Walker, While She Sleeps, sounds massive at Made of Ale. You guys have been at Made is it right that you got a session at Made of before you even released an album? Yes. This Ham- is our fourth time <laughs> Oh, here, come on. And you're nervous? What? I'm, I'm really, nervous. really nervous. Because you're of not this, hearing my voice. There's a massive red light on in studio. Can someone put some tape over the light? Oh, that <laughs> makes everything so much calmer. That's it's off now. Does oh, it? Because nice. if you're not, yeah. it's not the whole like live on the radio thing isn't being like, yeah, yeah. right in your gigs, face. Gigs don't the, bother us, but this is different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think the main thing for us is that usually it's so much louder and so much more crazy that taking it back to more of a stripped back studio thing is, is really out of our comfort zone. So Yeah, but you're used to really loads of people it. in front of you going bonkers. <laughs> Yeah. We're just imagining it, do you know what I mean? All that bedroom moshing. Yeah, yeah, that's what you just close your eyes and pitch yourself at a gig, yeah. Um, listen, um, how long have you guys been friends for then? How long now? Wow. Too long. <laughs> Way too long. <laughs> since school, really, isn't it? Yeah, since years. Like, like year seven at school, so it's probably more of our life than we've not been friends. <laughs> Nearly wow. half we've known, isn't it? Nearly half our life we've Yeah, like 20, 20 years or so, I think. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And what is the secret, would you say, for keeping a band friends? Like, oh. keeping that friendship as a friendship over the years. Because obviously, bo- obviously, you're going to be with each other so long, you're going to do each other's heads in, right? Because just got to bottle it all up and not tell everyone. <laughs> and then just, blow, <laughs> yeah, then just blow up one day, yeah. I think, um, I don't think we've really known much different, so it's kind of just always been this. Yeah, well, just, you know. be, just be nice to each other, innit? That's the, the yeah. simple... Ish. Ish. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But you tour hard as well, right? You're just about to go on an enormous tour. Yeah, we're going to America with Architects, which will be very fun. Yes. How how what, how long are we talking? How many shows? A month, I think like 24 shows, something like that. 24 shows in a month? I think so. Oh my God. Jesus. This was like this yeah. was like our visa appointment this morning because they were asking us <laughs> questions and we just didn't know any of them. <laughs> we just go and then just is Follow that, them around and play before them. <laughs> is that when you have to get your um, your visa at the US Embassy in London, or do you have to go somewhere yeah. else? Oh, that's no. We were down. We were up at uh, six a.m. this morning getting them visas uh, sorted. It's so always quite exciting them. though because you never who, know who you're going to see in the queue. I remember seeing Robert Carlyle once in the queue. Do you know the actor? Yeah, shout, <laughs> saw, saw someone from A Question of Sports. Sue Barker. Shout the, out, Sue shout Barker. Out Sue Barker. <laughs> our, our, drum, our drummer Sav's a celebrity hunter. Yeah, we see. He's a good spotter. Really? Yeah. It's like, it's going to become like a show of his. If the, if the band goes wrong, Hunted. then as wait in, for... I said like, well, Hunt is a little sinister yeah. of a word. Maybe is it spotted. not like a spotter? Like spotter. Better, yeah. yeah, like a train we were, spotter, yeah. What's the, what's the... We were here a couple of weeks ago and we saw Keith Lemon in Wagamama's. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Hey, do you know who I saw yesterday? Which is surprising, I haven't seen him yet since the work at the BBC. I saw Louis Theroux on the piazza oh, outside. Nice. Top lad. I, I literally, like, I stood right in the middle of his path thinking he's going to walk past me and that will be my chance to go, Louis, Louis, like well, that, we're all friends. Well, that's even though like he's no idea where I'm. spot, that, isn't it? Yeah, but that's I like did, I couldn't, I, didn't, I couldn't say hello. I just didn't have the... I didn't have the courage I'd to do I'd be too it. scared he'd ask me a really intrusive question yeah. that I'd have to tell the truth to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so listen, the album So What came out at the start of March, right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And how's it been since that's come out? That's album number four for you guys now, right? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Um, every time we release an album, it's a bit of a roller coaster of a journey. How it's, so? It's the fir- we just seem to stumble into tons of issues when doing it we had like matt in hospital i was having like vocal surgery and Again. oh my god there's all sorts happens but it seems to be like every record so i think mm. we just tour extensively and then when we come back we need a bit of a uh, bit of a service mm. yeah i think we kind of just throw ourselves into the records so heavily that they just take their toll hard on us and then <laughs> yeah. 
But it's always really nice when it gets released because that's like the payoff. Do you know what I mean? The music being released so nice when it's yeah. out. Yeah, so, absolutely. yeah, so it's the first time we've released like two consecutive records quite quickly. Yeah. And I think like we're really feeling that. that like the, the vibe around the band is, is like really positive and people seem to be really into the new record as well. So it's really nice. Good, good. I'm really glad to hear it. Let's have another song then from the record, can we? Yeah, let's go. What, for what it. should we do next? Yeah, this is Haunt Me. Okay, let's let's do it. This is While She Sleeps live on BBC Radio 1 with Haunt Me.
Yes! While she sleeps, live on Radio 1 with Haunt Me. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Everyone okay? I'm all right. Still alive. Okay, okay, good. I'm going to play a track and give you a chance to, I don't know what you're going to do, but you can do whatever you like. (laughs) You've got three minutes and 19 seconds, and we'll be right back, okay? Nice. Okay, dreams stay hand in hand on Radio 1, right? Live music on BBC Radio 1. We are right in the middle of a live gig. If you've just tuned in, you have missed two songs from the brilliant While She Sleeps. We have them down at BBC Medivale Studios at the other end of this fader. Guys, are you there? We are. Woo! Okay, listen, Lars, we need to talk about your voice. So you said you were in hospital uh, with having throat surgery. Is that because of your voice, of sing- because of the singing? Um, basically, I think that... For a long time during the early stages of my career, I didn't really know what I was doing. Basically, yeah. I've been screaming in bands since I was about 16 years old. So that was the, the technique was never really something that that was important to me. It was yeah. about it was about the passion that the music makes you feel and getting rid of that negative energy whilst you play. Um, so yeah, since I first ever started, I've had three throat surgeries. Um, a lot of it's down to sort of drinking too much and, and that yeah. sort of lifestyle on the road but yeah. I feel like I'm coming out the other side of it now and treating myself more like an athlete in a way yeah, like yeah, preparing yeah. myself for tours and, and you know that rock style heavy screams or whatever you want to call it is it's not easy on the body you know it's overworking the muscle way way more than it should be every single day on tour and yeah. basically since since I was 16 so like yeah I've needed a service a few times. And and what do you do now? Like, how do you prepare for a tour? I just warm up my voice. Like, all the guys, like, like professionals know, like, without mm. that, you're going to do yourself damage. It's like going for a run without stretching out, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. It's just the same sort of principle. So we're we're sort of looking at dietary stuff and just making sure we're, just, we're sort of a bit healthier than we used to be. We've yeah. hit it so hard over the years in terms of, like, trying to be rock and roll and just, yeah, just really yeah. pushing the parties to the, to the, like, to the limit. So... Yeah, it's just about being a little bit healthier now and a bit more mindful that people want to see us play gigs, not not laid in mm. the gutter. So you know, it is funny, isn't it? Because there is a point as a band or as anyone who's kind of like a, a performer, where you where you where you're kind of in a position where you're like, oh god, if I really want to keep doing this, I'm gonna have to actually start thinking about how to preserve myself. Yeah, definitely. I think <laughs> yeah. for a lot of bands that actually sort of get to sort of anywhere they didn't expect to, you know, yeah. we, I don't think we ever thought that this sort of situation would be our band we were all just passionate about it in the beginning i think it turns into this thing where like like people actually want to see us play now yeah and uh, you're not just letting yourself down you're letting your bandmates down if you're in if you're in that way and you can't play so it's like it's not yeah. really an option for us anymore like yeah we want to be a professional band and take this and take while she sleeps as far as it can possibly go so that's a journey we have to take great i'm excited i'm excited for your journey it's really exciting yeah me too <laughs> Uh, okay, so you have done... Oh, before we get to the cover, I want to read out some more texts because people are going crazy here on the texts. Um, David Adams says, While She Sleeps, best live band by far. Album of the year for sure. This guy is yes, really dude, into it. Thanks, bro. Steve Higgins, uh, While She Sleeps, banging out the mosh with Danny Mac. Love these guys. Michael uh, Gribben says, Listening to While She Sleeps with Danny Mac, getting me absolutely stoked for All Points East. Yes, of course yeah, you're doing sure. that. Amy Lee says, Sleep's killing it as usual. I hope a Greg's is on the rider, Matt. Is that Amy Lee from an Evanescence? We have not had a Greg's today, unfortunately. You haven't had a... I don't, you, Amy Lee from Evanescence? I don't know. <laughs> He's actually here. I tried to give that Greg sign to Greg James yesterday on radio and he ignored me. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Greg James, he's, he's all big for his boots. Now he does the breakfast show. <laughs> I understand. You know what I mean? we get busy. <laughs> Laura says, loving while she sleeps on Radio 1. Uh, best live band far, uh, by far. So great to hear them do a live session on radio. Can't get enough of the tunes. Hashtag so what? Hashtag metal. You know, carries on. Um, so people are very excited. And um, what is really special now about these gigs is when we ask bands to do something different that they haven't done before. And what we're always mad grateful for it because I know it takes a lot of work and thought Um so what have you done tonight and, and why? You've taken our cover virginity because we've never, ever done a what? cover before as a band. What? Yeah, for, for real. I don't think we've, we've talked about it before, but we've never actually gone through with it and done yeah. a cover. So how was this process for you? It's actually really fun, I think, because we didn't do it for so long that by doing it, we really enjoyed it. And then we're kind of mm. like, we probably should have been doing this ages ago <laughs> and really enjoying it. Yeah, we probably but should yeah, embrace it a bit more. It's been nice, kind of like taking something and trying to not just copy it but kind of make it our band's version of a song that we love and what is the song in question the song is mad world by tears for fears (gasps) why we 
uh, we really enjoyed the cover by Michael Andrews and Gary Jules for yeah. the Donnie Darko soundtrack. Uh, Donnie Darko was like a big film for us growing yeah. up and we still love it now. So that song at the end of that film is just, just a really nice rendition of, of the original. Yeah. Um, and it kind of lyrically and sort of in a in a sort of punk kind of way it, it translates quite well into a while she sleeps song we felt so we just thought we'd we'd give it a go mad okay i'm so excited right here we go live on bbc radio one for the very first time while she sleeps do a cover of uh tears for fears mad world take it away guys
Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. And let it ring out. That was incredible. I didn't want to put in just in case you were going back in. I was like, oh, that would be the worst. I, I nearly did. <laughs> uh, that was While She Sleeps, covering Tears for Fears, Mad World, like you've never heard it before. Um, it's going crazy out there. Uh, Bronson says, those harmonies sound so effortless. That is incredible. Carl says, sleeps absolutely slaying it. Did not expect that cover, but it was so good. Can't wait to see the guys live again. Joe and Brom, actual goosebumps. Not heard a cover this good since Arctic Monkeys did um, Girls Aloud. Lads, so lads, much. lads. That's that's loud, Sheffield. Uh, <laughs> Sam, absolutely blown away by the cover. Donnie Darko is my favourite film, so hearing one of my favourite bands have such a connection with it and the music in it is surreal. Awesome. Alex and Izzy loving WSS on Radio 1 was front row at Roundhouse on the first. Uh, Liam, while she sleeps, just gained another follower. Fantastic band. Johnny B from Newark, best cover I've ever heard. Conan, yeah. the while she sleeps boys on Radio 1 cannot fault it. Jordan, this cover of Mad World's incredible. Good Lord. And this is my all-time fave, Scott Perkins. God, Radio too 1. Kind. You know, no, hang on. Too kind. Hang on. He says, Radio 1, I'm going to do me neck in with these tunes. <laughs> <laughs> it's too busy head banging. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. That, thank you. That, Thanks for having us. That cover Cheers. sounded so, so brilliant. It, I, I loved it. We're thinking about recording it yeah. like, properly. So I get if that. anyone's into that, let us know. You should. You totally should. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, okay, well, listen, I'm wishing you all the best for this epic tour with Architects. Give them our love as well. We love playing their music on the show. Ah, we will. Um, we'll do. And yeah, and we'll see you soon, hopefully. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Thanks all right, for having you guys, us, Annie. take care. Bye now. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.